Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, in this video, we will try to discuss uh, the evaluation example number 1210 uh, solved in the book and we will solve the design exercise 1216 both related to band stop filters or band stop responses. Okay, so let's see the first question. The first question says that there is a need to design a band stop filter centered at 100 hertz. So if this is the band stop filter centered at 100 hertz means somewhere here that has the following transfer function. This is the transfer function and the design should fall within plus minus 2% of this transfer function. Now a vendor has submitted the following circuit. So this is the circuit submitted by vendors claiming that the design meets the specifications within plus minus one percent. Now we have to verify is the vendor's claim accurate. So from here, the transfer function is given and this is the circuit he has given. So we got to verify whether the circuit parameters meet the uh, transfer function or the transfer function from this circuit is equal to this value. Okay, so let's go to the solution. The circuit consists of a high pass, a low pass and an inverting circuit. So this is the high pass filter, this is a low pass filter and this is inverting circuit. And let's now find the transfer function of the first circuit that is the high pass filter. So for uh, our convenience we are naming the various resistances. So this is R1, this is R2 and as you know that the capacitor in S domain can be written as 1 over SC. And at this point we know that by um, KCL the current entering is equal to current leaving. That is I entering is I O or I out. And in terms of voltage now we can say that I1 is the voltage in divided by this impedance. So this impedance is R1 plus 1 over SC. Similarly, because of the voltage, actual current direction is like this. So we'll put a negative sign. So negative V out, this is V out here, divided by R2. This resistance R2. And from here, we can get the transfer function which is V out over V in and so we get this value and we just now manipulate. So divided by R1 we get in this form and divided by or multiplied by S we are getting this is the form. And now by putting in the values of the, the components given, uh, we can find it to be 4s divided by s plus 400, 4000. Okay, now let's come on to the low pass filter. Again, we have put in values of R1, R2 and 1 over SC. And same way, KCL, current entering is equal to current leaving at this node. So here it is VI over R1. So I1 is VI over R1. And in this case, it is V out divided by the parallel resistance. And uh, this can be written like this. And of course, the negative sign because the current is entering like this. And here also we find the uh, transfer function of the low pass by V out divided by Vn 
in this form manipulating and further manipulating dividing by R2 and then multiplying by SC. This is the final form that we get here. Or rather this is the final form. I hope you can just follow this up. And now again uh, putting the value of R1 and C and R2 and C. This is the final result that we get. Okay, now there is a summer inverter, the circuit, it is summing the two inputs and then inverting and that is why the final transfer function will be the transfer function of high pass inverted and also the transfer function of the low pass inverted. So we can write it like this and then plug in, in the values of THP and TLP and solving this, this is the answer that we get and this is what was desired. So we can say that the circuit realizes the desired transfer function. If uh, we can verify whether the if it is filter is centered at uh, 100 hertz or not. So for this, uh, although this is out of the scope, but book suggests that you have to plot the uh, graph or, or plot the frequency characteristics of the both low pass and high pass. And from here, you can see that the intersection point is at 630 uh, radians per second. This is in radians per second. Now if we convert this uh, or divided by 2 pi, convert into hertz, then it becomes 100.3 hertz, which is uh, the desired frequency or very close to the desired center frequency of 100 hertz. From here you can also see the corner frequencies of the uh, low pass and the high pass. So I hope this gives you uh, a better understanding and based on this understanding now we'll solve the next problem. Okay, now let's go on to the next question. The question says following the analysis of example 1210 design a circuit that realizes the following transfer function. Now in the uh, in the previous one, uh, the uh, circuit was given and it has to produce a transfer function. Now in this case, a transfer function is given and we have to design a circuit. What are the passband gains and what are the cut cutoff frequency of this circuit? So this is the question. So just like before, we can say that the circuit will consist of a high pass filter, low pass filter and inverting. So high pass filter, low pass filter and inverting summer. And we have to bring the transfer function in the following form. So the transfer function will be the multiplication of this and this filters and then inverted. Okay, so this is what is given. Now, I've just written because it's too lengthy to sort of a print. So what we are doing is we are, first of all, we're trying to take help of partial fraction to uh, get the low and high transfer functions. So this is the uh, top row and bottom row. We expand this like this and similarly the bottom. So it becomes like this. Now uh, this is a same degree division. Numerator has two degree and denominator has also two degree. Therefore we got to uh, go through the long division process. So we divide this 
by the denominator and we get 200 and this is the reminder. Okay, so we were here, this was the transfer function after long division we got 20 and then this is the uh, remainder part divided by the denominator. So we will first of all uh, take partial fraction of this part. So we can write it as A divided by S plus 100 and plus B divided by S plus 10 to the power 4. And as you know how to do the partial fraction, we are just multiplying both sides by the denominator terms. So this becomes A S plus 10 to the power 4 and this becomes B S plus 100. And now we are putting the value of S is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 to eliminate this term. So the left hand side will become as shown here and this gets eliminated so the right hand side will become this which can be solved to become minus b 990 and so from here b this divided by uh, 9900 will give us 200,000 now the second term we put s is equal to uh, minus 100 and in that case b will get eliminated so we can find the value of a which is minus uh, 20,000. Now this was uh, the start with two, uh, uh, 200 minus now we will plug in these two values of a and b so this becomes our uh, equation and now we will do some manipulation first of all we remove the sign from here minus so this is uh, plus and minus now we will bring this on the left hand side what we want actually is that the the high pass uh, transfer function should, should have an s at the uh, numerator as it is shown here it has an S in the numerator and also it has an S plus alpha. So we want to make it in this form. So that is why we are bringing the high pass to here and let the low pass go there and we will manipulate these two terms. So manipulating this and solving we are now getting 200 S divided by S plus 10,000 and this remains as it is. So now it is in the form of a this is the high pass and this is for the low pass now an important point to remember that this transfer function is at the output and there is an inverter before that that means it will invert whatever was the output here to get the transfer function so we can say that if we come at this point to find out the THP and TLP then we have to add a minus sign so that means minus sign THPS plus THPL will give this output and separating this uh, and then we can compare the two this is the THP and this is TLP so the transfer function for the high pass filter from here we can write minus this minus goes there we can say minus 200 s s plus 10,000 and similarly for the low pass that is minus 20,000 s plus 100 okay so this was uh, for the high pass and from the previous example because the circuit is same we can see that this in terms of R1, R2 we can write it to be R2 over R1 S and this is 1 over R1 C. So from here if you compare these two we can say that R2 over R1 is 200 and therefore R2 is 200 R1 and as you know that in the design circuit we uh, assume one term and then find the other 
with limitation uh, in case of all these circuits, especially having the operational amplifier is that the resistance should not be less than 1 kilo. So we are just assuming R1 to be 1 kilo. Therefore, R2 is 200 kilo. And also from here, 1 over RC is 10,000. 1 over RC, R1C is 10,000. So from here, C is 1 over R1,000 and putting the value of R1, it, it value comes to be 0 0.1 microfarad. Let's now plug in into the circuit. So R2 2000, R1 1 kilo and capacitor 0 0.1 microfarad. So this was for the high pass part. Now let's go to the low pass. This was the value and this is in terms of the resistance capacitance again same way we just compare the two so um, 1 over r1c is equal to uh, 20,000 from here again uh, r1 we assume to be uh, 1 kilo now remember this r1 is not same as this r1 although the value we are taking is same but these are two different circuits for convenience only we have uh, named them uh, R1, R2 in both cases. Okay, so R1 is 1 kilo and therefore from here we can find C, uh, sorry it has, I forgot to write C here, so C is 0 0.5 microfarad and similarly these two comparison R2C is equal to 100 and therefore from here we can find R2 to be 200 kilo. Okay, so this is the uh, values now for the low pass filter and the summer circuit is not doing any amplification, it is just doing one to one um, transformation and adding the two, therefore it is safe to assume all the resistances to be same and we have assumed it to be uh, 10 kilo each. So this is the complete circuit that uh, we could realize uh, um, by the problem. So I hope this gives you an understanding of how to solve this type of a circuit. Thank you very much.